Jeremy Windemuller, the trials manager here at Walters Gardens, and today I'd like to share a few tips on how to overwinter perennials. The first thing I want to talk about, and I think this is probably one of the most important steps in overwintering, overwintering perennials, is to make sure the plant is rooted out and finished properly. Now you see here this crop of nepeta. You have nice full uh, white root system here. It's a good healthy root system. This should be very, very easy to overwinter. The next step that we recommend with your perennials come fall is to drench them with a broad spectrum fungicide. And this can be done with a portable injector and a hose. And we recommend that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines when applying this procedure. The next step we're going to talk about with the perennials for overwintering is the acclimation step. And the first thing in the acclimation that we recommend is since the temperatures are cooling down, the plant's naturally going to slow down its growth. So we do recommend cutting the fertility levels in half. Um, the plant still needs some fertility to continue the growing in, in the late fall, but we do recommend cutting that in half and not giving it extra feed. The next step that we recommend with acclimation would be exposing the plants to cool temperatures for as long as possible and um, mimicking the outdoor temperatures. So that means trying to avoid covering up the perennials too early. Um, even light frost is fine. And then what that does is it builds hardiness into the plant and gets it ready for win the winter months. And the last thing that we'll mention about acclimation is also trimming some of these plants. And a lot of the perennials generally you can trim them back to around two to four inches in height. And this will remove some of the excess foliage that's on top and allow it to be easier to be covered coming into the winter months. While you're handling the crop when you're doing the trimming, we do recommend that you consolidate the plants to be in a pot-to-pot -pot configuration. And what this does is it eliminates a lot of air space in between the containers, which keeps the temperatures much more consistent and avoids the, free, uh, the freezing and thawing um, that can fluctuate between warmer and cooler temperatures during the day. Uh, we also recommend that you also have a gap between the outer edge of your greenhouse and, and keep the crop more centered in the greenhouse and this will also keep it from having cold spots on the outer edge of the crop and from losing the outer uh, line of plants. There are several different ways you can overwinter perennials in different environments. Uh, first one would be outdoors, second would be in an unheated hoop house or cold frame, and the third one would be in a minimally heated greenhouse at a roughly 38 degrees Fahrenheit. We obviously recommend the minimally heated greenhouse as its most consistent environment to overwinter. In the other environments such as unheated cold frames or outdoors, we do recommend to cover plants with a frost blanket or a thermal blanket. Covering plants with a thermal blanket will add up to 10 degrees of extra protection. And last but not least, once the plants are fully dormant, you want to avoid the temperature swings that can happen once the sun comes out in a, on a winter day and heats up a greenhouse or a cold frame. If it does rise above 40 degrees, we recommend that you vent the greenhouse or uncover the frost blanket as heat can build up underneath and cause the perennials to grow. Now those are just a few basic things that we recommend for overwintering perennials. And there's many more other tips too that we do recommend that you do your research on. And one good spot to go for for that information would be the Simple Sensible Solutions Guide by Walters Gardens. There you'll find lots of good tips and further detail on overwintering perennials. This is Jeremy Windemuller and I thank you for joining us on this little episode about overwintering perennials. Mm -hmm.